What's going on dudes, Jason here with some Kill Confirmed on Village using the MK14 with Silencer and Rapid Fire. Um, and as you can see in the very bottom there, I get a massive amount of kills this game. I go 84 and 3. And uh, that just means, well, two things basically. One, the kids I'm playing against are not that good. Uh, you could even say they're bad. Um, and second of all, they do not shoot down air support whatsoever. Uh, and I'm running Predator Missile, Reaper, and Pavlo. So, you know, the Pavlo on this map just rains down, man. Because there's really no buildings unless they're... You know, if they're not in the cave, then there's really nowhere to hide. Like, this is one of those rare maps where there's not many places to go. Interchange is another one, but the thing about Interchange is it has a lot of, like, the, you know, the highways that you can hide under, like the bridges and stuff that you can, like, be underneath of that the Pavlos and helicopters can't shoot you. But the village, man, really doesn't have too many places to hide other than the cave. So, uh... You know, if enemies don't shoot stuff like that down, then, you know, <laughs> you're just in for a lot of kills, basically. Uh, I'm running Scavenger Pro, Hardline Pro, and Marksman Pro. Um, Marksman, this right here, look at that. Just aiming down, being able to see guys like that. Um, and then, obviously, Hardline Pro right there. You just saw an assist count as kill right there for me to get my Predator Missile. And Scavenger Pro, um, obviously, I don't want to be put in the position to pick up another person's weapon, you know, and I'm, if I'm going for a high kill streak, like a 12-point streak, you know, you're going to need extra more bullets than what you originally start out with. So that's pretty much my thought process as far as perks go. And you'll see me play a little bit defensive. Obviously, the MK14, as good as it is, you know, it's a two-shot kill from pretty much anywhere on the map. Um... So, but at the same time, it's not like an automatic weapon, so you don't want to be up close. You want to try to keep your distance and stick to areas where, you know, you have, you know, the advantage over the other people. Because they have high recoil and everything, and the MK14 really is just going to, you know, <laughs> just like that right there. Uh, I don't really want to be like that close to a guy, even though it worked out for me there. And since I'm not going to be that close, that's why I chose not to run Sitrep Pro or, or like uh, Ninja, I mean not Ninja, uh, Dead Silence because I don't really need those if I'm trying to stay away from the enemy. Um, and this is actually a game that I submitted to the Mark of J for Subscriber Tuesday and it just didn't work out. He never selected it so I figured I'd go ahead and pop it up here on my channel. I actually forgot that I had it. I was going through my gameplays looking for something to put on here and I was like, oh, I totally forgot that I, <laughs> that I had this because I think it was like... A month and a half ago, I think, I put it up and I gave him a little while to uh, do... Wow, that is an annoying alarm. Uh, I gave it a little while for him to, you know, post it and it just didn't work out. So, uh, anyways, here I am. <laughs> uh, so, basically, there's been a huge thing going on this week with Raw Instinct. And people in the comments section are asking me my thoughts. And for one thing, I don't think that... You know, I'm a big enough channel to really have a comment, like, to like to where my opinion matters. Like, if somebody like Wings of Redemption or X-Jaws or Woody's Gamertag or somebody like this made, like, you know, a video about it, then, you know, that's something that people could listen to and, you know, you know, they're established enough to where it would actually matter what they have to say, or at least in my opinion. But for me, like, I don't even have 300 subscribers, so, you know, no matter what I say, it, I mean, it doesn't matter. But uh, I can honestly see both sides. Like, everybody's quick to hate on Raw Instinct, and he is in the wrong. Like, you know, anybody that doesn't know, basically this Raw Instinct guy, you know, mimicked or, you know, the, the, th the term out there is copied. Um, but uh, he mimicked and, you know, used a lot of other people's ideas as his own. And even down to the thumbnails, like, there's like a 16-minute video out there, like, detailing this. And it's pretty obvious and clear that... You know, he did do these things. Like, he used other people's thumbnails, but just tweaked it just a, just a hair. He used even very similar, like, um, you know, titles and stuff like that for his videos. Um, copies, like, the tags and stuff from other people's videos. I mean, just really, like, obvious things that you can tell. Um, and the, the big part about it is a lot of it are, like, tip videos. Like, he was using, like, tip and tricks videos that other people had used it, I don't know I mean I wouldn't have done it personally but here's where I can understand why he did it okay he according to all these other you know people that are making videos about it this guy is making upwards of six figures like more than a hundred thousand dollars a year okay so if that's the case okay so he obviously didn't just start out copying people like he didn't just start up his channel one day and start copying somebody but once he did he was obviously getting what he wanted out of it. It was either more views, more likes, you know, more com, like whatever he was looking for, he got out of it. 
And then once the money starts rolling in like that, like if you were making a hundred thousand dollars, you know, a year, would you really stop doing that? Especially if nobody's called you out on it. Like that's the big thing to me is that it's taken so long. Like there was examples of this back in like November of stuff like this happening and nobody has said anything until now. So if nobody's called you out on it, you're making a hundred thousand dollars a year. Are you really going to just stop because of your conscience because you feel bad about doing this? Hell no, you're not. You're, you're going to do it until something like this happens. Like, he finally got called out on it, and he's lost, like, you know, tens of thousands of subscribers. And, you know, this is kind of his downfall, you know. But, I mean, I don't know. It's like, I can see why he continued to do it, but obviously I'm not making an excuse for him because he was clearly in the wrong for doing that. And it's kind of nice, you know, when you do stuff like that, it's always going to come out in the end. So, that's, 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 blah, blah, blah. <laughs> that's like a lesson for life, not really just YouTube. But if you're doing some, the wrong thing, like doing things the wrong way and you're being successful with it, you know, you're always going to get yours in the end, man. Like, it's like something will always come back to bite you a little bit. And uh, just remember that. Um, but anyways, uh, like remember like a couple months ago the whole x jaws minnesota burns thing was going on and now it's this raw instinct thing like why does there always have to be a drama going on in the youtube man like i remember when i first started watching videos before i ever started making them like there was none of or i don't remember maybe i just didn't keep up with it as much as i do now but there was none of that stuff going on man like it was such a more friendly community and it was open to like new people and new ideas like i don't know i just feel like and now it gets to the point where everybody knows that it's very saturated market like there's thousands upon thousands of commentators out there you know myself included you could throw me in that boat as being one of the people that commentators talk about is you know hey there's way too many people out here and there's no room to be successful like i've been on youtube for like over two years i think and uh since modern warfare 2 yeah since april of modern warfare 2 so yeah two years now over two years and i don't even have 300 subscribers so i mean like that's one of the channels they're talking about when they say you know you know there's there's not room to be successful because there's so many like people out there that are have already taken up the views but you know I do this because I like it and you know it's gotten to the point now where uh, I'm almost happy that I didn't blow up and make it big you know like I mean obviously it would have been nice to make money off of this or you know to make a living off of this or whatever but you know I still have people comment on my videos it's not a whole lot I may get like three or four comments a video if that but that's all that really matters like I just want to make a video have some ideas and just have at least one two people like you know comment on it and let me know what you think and that's really all I'm looking for you know I mean it would be nice obviously to have more people it would be nice to have more views but it's gotten to the point where if you get to be that big and it's like to be like the superstar you know something is going to go down where you people try to bash you or like hate hate on you um or try to make you look like you're a bad guy and uh look right here man i just got this pavlo called in at 30 seconds um left and because my friend right here big reese that i'm following here called in a escort airdrop with about a minute and 20 seconds left and i already had my pavlo so i could have had like an extra 30 40 seconds of the pavlo being in the air um and who knows how many kills i could have gotten but anyways like I was saying, man, yeah, it just, people are just going to try to hate on you, and, you know, just look at X-Jaws, man, people hated on him for, like, a couple little comments on Minnesota Burns, this Raw Instinct guy, which his is actually due, man, like, I don't really blame anybody for that, you know, Woody's Gamer Tag had the little couple days there where everybody said, you know, he took, you know, all this money from some kid to be, for a shout out and all this, like, you know, any little thing that you do is going to, you know, people are scrutinizing it's almost like you're a super like you're a famous person in the media because people like all the tabloids are always trying to like find ways to nitpick at people and uh, i don't know i just feel like you know it's just a matter of time before somebody finds some dirt on you or something nowadays but anyways uh final score is 84 and 3 like i said i hope you guys enjoyed this video and y'all have a good day